deals with weather so let's first go into what is weather well if we go all the way back and remember weather is the state or condition of any variable in the atmosphere at a given location and at a given time so what it is it's a state so for example rain at a given place just like in Buffalo it could be raining and that is what weather is at a given time all right is it a shorter time period? Yes, not a longer uh, time period. All right, so let's go right into it. Well, how does this different weather or different weather occur across the U.S.? We know that the weather in Buffalo is completely different than the weather in Texas. So what causes this? Well, the number one key factor is the sun. All right, the sun. What does the sun do? Well, we know that the sun heats up places, uh, certain places more on the earth than other places. For example, the uh, Caribbean islands uh, just south of Florida is a little bit warmer than the north or south pole. So the sun he heats up par uh, different parts of the earth at different times and different locations. Also, what else? Well, what does this do then? At different latitudes, you get different temperatures. Well, these different temperatures cause this un uneven heating in the Earth. All right, so you got warmer temperatures by the equator, cooler temperatures, that's an uneven heating. So what happens is that this uneven heating causes the Earth to reach and become a gigantic engine that the, produces the infinite variety of weather. So that's pretty much how weather is caused on Earth, uneven heating by the sun. All right. So, what is weather? What are some weather variables? When we say weather, we say, you know, these variables. Well, what are these variables? These variables are the the four main variables are temperature, take a deep breath, wind, which is includes speed and direction. We have moisture, which can be fog, rain, snow, and also air pressure, which we'll get into exactly what air pressure is. So these are the main four air variables that cause, you know, that we define weather as. So how do we measure these certain things? There are certain instruments that measure these variables. So for example, temperature. How do we measure temperature? Very simple. A thermometer. We should all know that. A very uh, thermometer. Wind speed. How do we measure wind speed? It's called an anemometer. All right. We're going to show you what that looks like right behind me. Next, what do we measure with wind direction? A weather vane. Little thing with the little rooster on it? Yep, that's a weather vane. Next, what do we measure air pressure with? A barometer. And finally, what do we measure rainfall with? A rain gauge. And another thing to measure uh, moisture in the atmosphere is called a sling psychrometer, which measures relative humidity and can be used to measure dew point as well. So those are the, the key variables for weather and the instruments that we use as meteorologists to measure the weather. So now, with this in mind, we talk about temperatures, all right? We use a thermometer to measure different temperatures in the U.S. So how can we display this information to you, the public, in a very simple way? Well, you can see most meteorologists on the news, you get this nice little map of the U.S. and then you start seeing these lines. Well, these lines are called isotherms. What are they? It's a it's simply mapping temperature on a map. These isotherms, what do they do? They connect points of equal temperature. All right, points of equal temperature. With these then, which we can see, is we can say there's a range. So from Buffalo to Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, the temperature ranges from 30 to 40 degrees. All right, because we can specifically say that a certain temperature, Buffalo, which would be 30 degrees, and Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, which could be 40, we would draw a line right there, which, which you will see.